Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back. Uh, just gonna come with some before I even head up in this job. Probably do some uh, at work and then probably do another video on my way out. Just want to see what this phone life like. So given the fact I'm uploading on my phone, it's definitely gonna be very brief. But informative, kind of like Gael Alchemy, you know what I'm saying? When I used to watch uh, Gael Alchemy coming up in the game, uh, learning how to how to do this stuff, you know what I mean? She had nice, good, broad, very short, but very detailed readings, you know what I'm saying? So, just going to pick a spread out for the Divine Feminine, and just go from there. Like I say, very quick, you can always stop, pause, rewind, all that, dear. And do the mask one at the next reading. So, let's just get straight with it. First card in this reading, we got the King of Wands, right? It's the Divine Masculine card. Uh, since this is the Divine Feminist Energy, and this is the overall energy, which is fairly important. Not very, but fairly important. We got uh, the Death card, or Permanent Ending coming on the side of a masculine so this is the energy of your divine masculine um having death in the family um this could be um like a permanent ending this is like your divine masculine losing his job your divine masculine losing uh losing things permanently uh whatever it might be aside from that um this could be for some the end of this whole like like i say when tennis wars pop up with masculines, for some, like I say, uh, this is an eternal bond you got with your twin, you know, but at the same time, you do got a whole life to live, this is definitely just pumping the brakes, you know what I mean, permanently, for not just your sake, feminine, but for the sake of your masculine, you know what I'm saying, like true blood, true blood and shit, with Sookie and, and 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 Bill and, and 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 Eric and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of this shit going on. You know what I mean? Like she's feeling Bill, but she had to, to pump the brakes on that shit. She's feeling Eric, but she had to pump the brakes on that shit for her own sake. You know what I'm saying? That type of demonstration for some. For most, it's just a lot of shit going on in your divine masculine's uh energy, and you might want to um just check on him or her because it could be a she, she could be a he. You know how we rock it. Bottom line, we got the Seven of Pentacles. This is moving the fuck around. This is getting the fuck moving. And um, shit, it's kind of tied to this overall energy too. This is a lot of masculines kind of getting tired or, tired of a lot of divine feminine shit and moving the fuck around too. Like I say, this shit is a two-way street. Uh, like I say, a white book, you know what I mean? Um, divine feminine, you got the three of wands. That's your job. That's your role. That's your purpose. The divine masculine's role is only two wands. So, you know what I mean? You're doing his job and more. Like, you, 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 you know, it's a lot you're accountable for. I call it divine accountability. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really your job to get your shit straight with God. It's really your job to get your divine masculine on his path. And it's really your job to make sure your twin flame demo happens. You know what I mean? It's really all on you. Sucks. But that's the life of a divine feminine. Um, Putting more smoke on the seven of pentacles. We've got the two of pentacles. This is you and another person. This is you share the same space with another person. This is you with another person on one accord. You know what I mean? I just take this as. You have an energy your masculine is going to be in. Feminine. You know what I mean? If your masculine needs you, be there. Like, hey, be right there. Like, on God. Like, true blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every time can get in trouble with shit, Bill right there and shit. He can feel her ass. Like, he's boom right there. You know what I'm saying? He's always close by. You know what I mean? Always. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you need to be with your masculine. Just by his side or her side when they need you. Whether that's just to be on the phone. Whether that's just to do a little ditty shit. Little stuff that you don't like. That they like doing all the time with them. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's just letting them vent. Whatever it is. Your masculine's going through a hard time. Just take it to a tone of that. And kind of help your masculine by helping him move the fuck around from... Whoever he's around, wherever he's at, the environment he's in, the mood he's in, you know what I mean? Like, you're a divine fucking feminine. You can heal people all around the fucking world. How can you not help your twin? Overall, bottom line energy. Get into this message real quick. King of Pentacles, divine feminine, you got the King of Pentacles energy. This is the master manifester. This is knowing how to manifest something and manifesting that shit. This is doing whatever the fuck you got to do. Not on a survival level, 
Nah, this is the step after bossing a fuck up. This is like really handling your motherfucking business. This is an alchemist. This is a magician. I'm talking about this is a person who knows how to create pinnacles. Feminine, create them. You want to create pinnacles? Why? So you can wow your motherfucking self out here at the rate that you can manifest pinnacles. You also want to, like I say, move like a king. You a queen, but move like a king too. You balancing both energies. You know what I'm saying? Put more smoke on this king energy right here. Being able to manifest whatever the fuck you want. You got the Eight of Swords. The only thing keeping you from manifesting whatever the fuck you want is the Eight of Swords here. That's a self-imposed prison. Going back to the Seven of Pentacles here. Divine Feminine. It ain't just you removing your Divine Masculine for some shit. It's some shit you need to remove yourself from. By playing your Masculine close, it's going to help you. As well as your twin. But you got to let them gates down. This is thinking you can't do some shit when you can't. We don't even need to elaborate on that. You a king, right? You a queen, right? You majestic, right? You divine, right? You, you you human, but you're kind of more than human too. You know what I'm saying? So hey, just just step into your power. Be the master manifesto that you are. Period. Subconscious energy to that. We got the four cups. It's the world. Yes, yeah, shit, real. It's a lot of lack and limitation. That is the fucking world. It's lack and limited and depressed and shitty and weak and all kind of shit. It's the world. It's the third fucking dimension, man. We got four, fifth, and six plus realms of being out here you know what i mean this is a low level ass state of being don't be like everybody else in the world fuck the world you know what i'm saying we all about zion anyway we ain't really about that matrix life putting more smoke on the world we got the ace of cups you're gonna have to take care of yourself in the world it's like i've been saying during this whole little uh outbreak and shit lockdown shit just focus on yourself focus on your family focus on your business focus on your properties focus on your your own shit can't worry about everybody else shit. The fuck you worry about everybody else shit when you got a lot of shit on your plate anyway. You know what I'm saying? If anything motherfuckers need to be learning right now is taking care of yourself and your fucking family and your business and securing your shit. Why? Because the world's going to hell and by you taking care of yourself when the world fucking falls off the map and goes to shit, you'll still be able to take care of yourself in the midst of a lockdown, in the midst of a crisis. We're divine people, man. God gonna take care of us. Why? Because we do God's business, man. Moving on. Feminine. You exclusively... You, in regards to yourself, you got the Ace of Wands. This is awareness. I'm going to speed through this shit. Awareness. Some awareness that you need to make a better business, to make better moves, to make better decisions. Clarifying that, we got the full card. This is being unaware. This is awareness, and this is being unaware. You're unaware of something. You're going to get aware of it. Boom. Once you get this awareness, do something with it. It's like I tell my twin all the time. You can't just have awareness. You can't just be smart. You can't just have knowledge. Write a book. You know what I'm talking about? Start a YouTube channel with some shit. Like, do something with that knowledge. Help other people attain the same knowledge you got. Don't just sit on knowledge. Subconscious to that. We got the Knight of Pentacles. This is grooming. Feminine. It's your job to groom other people. You got to the light. Help other people get to the light. This was slavery. You got the freedom. Help other people get the freedom. You just came up on a million fucking dollars. You just started a motherfucking raw ass business where you helping other people start raw ass businesses and shit. Put people on. PMD. Put me down. Like, put people on. You have the power to put people on. Feminine, do it. Wrapping this up, as far as your masculine energy, feminine, you got the Knight of Swords. This is stress. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight the wrong way. I just take it as stress. You're too blessed to be stressed. So I'm taking this as somebody else's stress. Mainly, most likely, your divine masculine stress. You can feel his stress. Just like true blood, my nigga. Suki and Bill, yo, you feel everything that he's going through. Some of the feelings you got ain't yours. I'm telling you, the bond between you and your twin is powerful. You know what I'm saying? Super duper duty powerful. So you're going to feel your masculine feelings. And it's all good. At the end of the day, Ten of Pentacles. It's all good. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to your masculine. Because your masculine has the best person looking after them. Your masculine is blessed to have you in their life. As you are to have them in, their, in, in your life. You know what I'm saying? Eight of Pentacles. This is the prize. This is having something to lose. This is whatever you've been building for. Whatever you've been working towards happening. You can manifest this. Why? It's only the Eight of Pentacles. You a King of Pentacles. Get to the Nine. Get to the Ten. Get to the knights queens kings and things divine realms of being and wrapping this reading off we got the queen of pentacles bossing up Khalees card this is bossing up on a situation clarifying that the subconscious to this you know what i mean the other side of this is the two of swords this is indifference and decisiveness pussyfooting around the queen of swords is being 